Welcome to Specific Love. Once you get done enjoying your favorite beverage, what do you do with all those old bottle caps? Well, I got 10 great uses for you. Now here's a great way to use some bottle caps and some nails. You take a bunch of bottle caps and you put them in line however you wish. Nail each one of them into a nice thick piece of wood. You want the thick piece of wood so it doesn't move around while you're taking your boots and you're scraping the mud off. Now all these little grooves here that are in the bottle caps get into the nice grooves that are in the bottom of your boots so you can get all that nice mud off and you can stomp on it if you need. Now this is really, really, really hardy. So if by chance you do bend them, you can always go in some pliers and you can bend these back up. You can reuse this over and over again. It's a great boot scraper using some bottle caps. For this next project, we're gonna need a pen that we can hollow out, some cutters, two bottle caps, a toothpick, a large nail, a rubber band, a hammer, and some hot glue. Because we're gonna be making a cool little toy racer. To begin this, we wanna take your pen and you wanna cut it so that you can get the ends off and get the tube out from inside. So that'll make the body here. And then you take your cap, your nail, and your hammer, and you wanna make holes big enough through each of these caps. Make sure they have to be right in the center to make this work right. Then we're going to take your hot glue gun and you're going to glue the caps right to the ends. Make sure that the top of the caps is to the outside. And you glue those to the pins. So now you have a nice body here. And then you're gonna take a rubber band and you're gonna feed it through. Now I've still got some pressure there. Now. You take it and then on one end you're going to take a toothpick and you're going to cut a little piece of the toothpick off and you're going to feed it through the rubber band, hot glue it in place, and on the other side you're just going to stick the nail. So it's relatively easy. All you're using is a twisting force of the rubber band. You wind it up, you set it down and it'll do what needs to be done. Have fun playing! For those of you who love fishing, you can always make yourself a cool homemade lure. To make this, I started out with a basic cap that I bent in half. You may or may not need pliers for this. Once you have it bent in half, then you take a nail and you want to put a hole in the top and in the bottom so that you can start attaching the rest of your gear. Now in the bottom, of course, I put a triple hook. In the top, you have your little swivel. And that is a great way to make your own homemade lure. And here's a great way to make a simple tambourine. This design is actually quite simple. I have two caps for each of these and I have a washer in between each of these. I have a simple small nail that protrudes through all of them into the wood and holds them in place. On the top up here, I used a little bit of hot glue for the nail and the top cap. Otherwise, these caps will move around and won't make the joyful sound that you hear. Now, of course, kids are gonna love these. Parents, well, they may not after a short while, but this is just a simple improvised instrument, just in case you need to make something simple. For this next idea, make sure you're working on an old surface so you don't mess up your nice kitchen counters. We're gonna turn a bottle cap into a cool tea light. This is pretty simple. All you need is a good wick, and then you need your cool bottle cap, and you take an old tea light that's already used up and you want to light it up with a lighter just on the outside of the metal there and it'll start to drip into your cap. Once you give it some time to dry, it'll turn white and then you can use these wherever you wish. Next up is this cool little pitcher holder you can make from one of these caps. On the back of it, I just have a high powered magnet that I've hot glued in place and it'll stick on anything metallic. And the great thing about this is if by chance you can find a nail or screw that you use to put your drywall to your studs in your room, you can, since it's a high powered magnet, you can put this right up to it and it's going to stick. Otherwise, anything metal, you can put it on and it'll work great. Uh, you can use stickers, you can use pictures, they even have little cover inserts that you can put over to give it a little bit of a nice clear look through. Now, that's a great way to use these caps for your little picture holders. Now here's a great way to turn a bottle cap 
into a little mini ninja star. It's actually quite simple. Take your standard ball cap and you want to flatten it out as flat as you can and then do some kind of design that you wish on it so that you can cut out the little teeth. Then get you a nice sized washer and you want to hot glue it to the back and there you go. They work great at popping balloons. They can even stick into cardboard. And if the teeth get a little bit bent, just take some pliers and bend them back straight. Now you can use it over and over again. Now here's another great little noise maker that the kids will love. This is a castanet. I have a simple piece of cardboard that I have folded so that it fits right about between my thumb and my finger. Now, I just used a couple caps, uh, hot glued in place, and everything should stay nice and tight. And the kids will get a blast just running around, clacking those together. You can use bottle caps to make some great crafts. Here, I just have a cool looking flower. Relatively easy, I took some caps, and I used some cardboard, and I traced everything out, and then cut it to shape. Then I took some more caps and I bent these in half. You may or may not need pliers for this. I can do it relatively easy with my fingers. And then I painted them and then I just used some basic hot glue to glue everything together. Now you can make this any combination you want, but they make some great flower crafts. And a great thing about using bottle caps is you can easily spray paint them so you can turn them into something awesome. Now I bought 500 and some of these bottle caps on Amazon for a really good price. So if you're interested in doing any of these projects, I'll put that link in the description below. Now, if you enjoyed any of these projects, make sure you hit the like button. Tell us what you think about it in the comments. And as always, have fun building.